Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Just checking in for today's training run. Now, because this week has been a little muddled with the race the other night, it's meant that I've shifted a few things around. So tonight, it's about 10k, a bit of easy, a bit of tempo, if I can. Thank you for taking the time to post a comment and watch my videos. I do really appreciate it. And I uh, will get back to them as soon as I can. Obviously time zones dictate when I can respond because sometimes I don't work. But uh, yeah, it really is truly appreciated and I hope you find the videos of some value. In all my videos, I'm always very honest especially when it comes to the race vlogs. I'm not paid to enter them. I'm not invited by the organizers to be there. And so, however I feel on the day is what I share with you in video. It may be that in times afterwards I reflect on it, but generally speaking, the way that I respond and react to the day is the way I feel about the event. Now, it's about 26 degrees. We're out for a nice training run this evening. Should be a nice mix of easy and tempo pace. Had my week remained as the calendar suggests, I'd be doing around about 14k, but that would have been last night. I've shuffled a few things around. I'll be happy with about 10k, and we'll talk more about my long runs over the next few weeks shortly. Okay, let's talk long runs. So the next three weeks, as per my plan, is something like this. 29k this weekend, 32k next weekend, and 37k the weekend after. Now, I feel happy with this weekend's mileage. No issue at all with that. Next weekend, I'm actually taking part in a race. That race I mentioned before is the apple pie run. Now, it's a loop circuit of 5k. I'm not entirely sure what the route looks like and it's highly likely it will take in some elevation. And so it's not going to be a route that I'm focusing necessarily on speed, but more technique and more to build stamina. I appreciate that my approach to this training plan might be a little bit off base and it may not be the kind of plan and the kind of approach that everybody would take but for me I'm absolutely loving the process and that's more important to me than keeping rigidly to a marathon training plan. Now the one that makes me a little bit nervous or apprehensive I suppose is a 37k distance. The furthest I've ever run in the lead up to a marathon is 20 miles. For me 37k the apprehension comes with recovery. Is my body in a place where it can recover from that and do the marathon distance just a few weeks later? Could be as little as two weeks later. I'm not entirely sure. So at the moment, that's on the back burner. I'll make a decision about whether that is sensible or not. At the moment, I'm erring on the side of caution. I'd rather not do that distance. Maybe another 20 miler and just know that I'm conserving energy, which is important at this stage. Injuries are not welcome. So this evening, I'm testing out the Ultimate Direction handheld soft flask. It's the only handheld with a soft flask that I currently own. The others are hard bottles. And whilst this comes in at about 100 mil less, I think, maybe less than that, it's actually so much nicer on the hand and it means you can just kind of squeeze in and keep going. So far so good. So I'm really starting to acclimatise to the heat. I'm actually enjoying it. Make a short drink regularly. If you saw my video on how I feel my long runs, you'll know that taking a sip of electrolytes every kilometre without fail and then Typically on a longer run, combine that with water and some gels. Yeah, it's warm. 
I'm hot, I'm sweaty, but I'm throwing in some tempo runs, sorry, some tempo splits, as I want to feel it's necessary. So not really following anything too specific, but if I feel so inclined, I just throw in a nice tempo split. So two so far, we'll see how many more we get in. No pressure, no expectation, just getting out in the heat and focusing on getting a really solid workout in. Okay, just hit the halfway mark, about to run back. A couple of tempo splits in there, which I'm really pleased about. It is hot, conditions are testing, but I'm really having a good time and uh, I'm really pleased that just as I started to record, a completely empty road suddenly filled up with traffic. What are the chances? And now I finished recording, the road's empty. Ah. Okay, 11 kilometers complete. Came in, I think, at 1 hour 41 with an average of 5.30 per kilometer. It was a bit of a mix and match run. I was moving my split paces around as necessary. Sorry, that's a loud bus there. Um, yeah, did a couple at marathon pace towards the end. A few tempo, a few easy. Just uh, to really keep the legs turning over, give myself a little bit of a test. Still feeling it slightly from the other night. I mean, it's not too bad. Obviously, I was able to do this workout this evening. I was able to get a lot of uh, pace in the feet. But uh, yeah, now I've finished the run, I can start to really feel it. Yeah, that's not ideal. Barely see out this eye now. But what I'm going to do is uh, rest and recover tomorrow. Take it easy. Then head out for that 29 kilometer or so on Sunday. Depending on how I feel, I may well extend that to uh, 32 kilometers, 20 miles. Just to give myself a little buffer should the week after when I plan to do a 20 miler on that loop circuit be a little bit more difficult to do than I had anticipated so we'll just see how we go thank you again for taking the time to watch these videos I do appreciate it if you'd like to see anything in particular just let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to put something together for you I'd like to bring you as much value as I can and as I say I do appreciate the time it takes to watch these videos there's a lot of choice out there and uh, yeah I don't take it for granted that you do spend a portion of your time watching mine so, I'll chat to you soon. Take care wherever you are in the world. Yeah, wish you well.